The device manager found in Windows 7 is just about the same as it is in Windows Vista. It can be accessed in Windows XP and Vista through the control panel or as before by right clicking on computer. However we have an option here we can click on properties as before or manage as in this example. The advantage of this is to allow us to access not only the device manager but other tools that we shall be looking at during the coursework. Here we can see the already familiar categories and in this example there are some conflictions listed. But once again Windows has installed its own compatible audio device drivers. Not always will we have access to the driver disk so our other option is to download the driver from the manufacturer's website. To do this we can open a browser. The motherboard in this example is called MSI. Here we can see over 200,000 results and we should be aware that not all these are trusted websites. In other words, some can install software that can damage the computer. This can be in the form of a virus or spyware. In most cases visit the manufacturer's websites only. In this case it is msi.com. Now we need to do a little searching on the websites for the driver software. This normally can be found under downloads as we can see here. Next we should select the driver option. You will find in most cases you will need to specify the operating system. This is 32 or 64 bit. In our example we have chosen Windows 7 32 bit. Now we need to scroll down and find the required driver. In our example it is called Realtek High Definition Drivers. Here we can find a link called Realtek HD Audio Zip. It will give us the opportunity to download from different locations. In our example it is US, Europe or Asia. By clicking on Europe we are given the opportunity to open, save or save as. If we choose open then after the software has been downloaded it will automatically run. If we choose save then the driver will be downloaded, saved, then you will be given the option to run the driver. Or save as, the same as save, but this time you can choose the find name and location. As engineers, it is useful to build up a library of software drivers, so in this instance we have chosen save as. To save a little time, we have already downloaded the driver, as we can see here. Now we need to install the driver and this can be found in the folder called Downloads. Before we continue notice the type of file, it is called Compressed Zip. A zip file is a file that consists of files and folders in a compressed format and can result in time saved in sending or receiving files since they are smaller. So how do we compress a file? The concept is to remove any redundancy. A popular way of explaining this is with the following sentence. Did he have to have a car? Yes, he did have to have a car. So this is 41 characters and 14 spaces equaling 55 in total. So if we analyze this we find that the word did appeared twice. The word he also appeared twice and so on. To compress this we can use the dictionary algorithm. So each word can represent a number. Did is equal to one, he is equal to two and so on. We assume that after each word there is a space. Then we can compress this into the following. We substitute all the words in the sentence with the corresponding number. As an example all the did words will be substituted with the number one and all the he words with two and so on. Now we have compressed this into just 16 characters or a saving of about 29% and that is with a very tiny sentence. Just imagine how much can be compressed in files and folders many million times bigger. So as long as the recipient knows the dictionary algorithm then they can unzip the sentence. Of course in reality this is very basic but with this example you can appreciate the value of sending and receiving compressed files. 
If we right click on the folder, we can get the opportunity to unzip the files by clicking on Extract All. Next, you will be prompted to supply a location. In our example, we shall leave it as the suggested location. Here we can see over 480 items that will need to be extracted. Now it is only a question of running setup and following these screen prompts. After the setup has finished, you will be prompted to restart the computer. In our example, we shall select No, I will restart my computer later. After the restart, if we check the device manager, we will find that one of the drivers has now been updated with the new driver called Realtek High Definition Audio. Also, if we check the control panel, We shall find a new application called Realtek HD Audio Manager. This is a prime example why we should update using the manufacturer drivers than relying on compatible drivers.